Middle school is just an awkward place, bro. Like, middle school dances, awkward. Middle school speeches, awkward. And middle school relationships, in my experience, is the most awkward thing on the face of this planet. I mean, the girl's a whole foot taller, got a deeper voice, Ooh. and shit, she could probably bench more than you, little bro. Like, I hate to break it to you, but you don't got a girlfriend. You are the girlfriend, bro. Middle school just occurs at the craziest time in a teenager's life, because motherfuckers is just getting slapped by puberty out of nowhere you'll be walking down the halls and see a bunch of kids who look fresh out of daycare then all of a sudden you'll see a grown-ass man built like shaquille o'neal thumping his way down to math class and attendance in middle school was looking like matthew uh, uh, uh here george present daisy here uh owen here. dude's balls would be dropping halfway through presenting their speech like and this is specifically why dinosaur <coughs> why dinosaur <coughs> Why dinosaurs went what extinct? The fuck? And in middle school, nobody had drip. Like, dudes would be showing up to school in a neon green t shirt paired with some bright red shoes looking like a fucking traffic light. Well, their haircuts looking like their barber cut their shit with one hand, well blindfolded. But to be fair, everyone had a shitty haircut in middle school, bro. And if you think your cut wasn't that bad in middle school, chances are your shit's probably still ass to this day. And just to make things worse, the cherry on top is that everybody has got acne. There's just all these hormones flying around and these kids have no clue what to do with them. Which is exactly why middle school beef is unmatched, bro. Motherfuckers will be throwing hands for no reason at all. And I don't know how, but somehow even the fights were awkward. It would be like, hey pal, I heard you sat beside my crush in class today. So what? You want to fight about it? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> like if you wanted to. That, like, I'm, I'm not scared. Like, yeah, we, we can fight. Okay, let, let's freaking go, pussy. Fuck, I wasn't ready. So, sorry, was that too soon? No shit, Sherlock. Okay, you can hit me back so we're even. But if two dudes were throwing hands and their crush is watching... <laughs> They're about to fight to the death. But the thing is about middle school fights, I, I didn't know this was possible, but somehow both motherfuckers end up losing the fight. I remember one lunch at my middle school, a dude whipped out some boxing gloves for no reason at all, and all of a sudden we're running a whole fight club. Kids would be betting their lunch money on who's gonna win and shit, but we never laid down any ground rules. So one day, JJ hit Timmy with a spinning back fist and put his ass to sleep. And I'm hyped, because I just doubled my lunch money. But Mr. Principal didn't seem too hyped to see one of his students students knocked out on the ground so of course jj gets in trouble because he's just that one kid who's always in trouble but never got expelled like i could have swore dude was on his third strike five strikes ago but man middle school had some characters bro there was that one guy that would walk through the halls blast the music on his speaker the kid who used to sit in his chair like this the dude who hit puberty and midlife at the same time uh mr donaldson can, can i get some help on the subtraction <laughs> Help on the subtraction? You look more like you need help on your taxes. <laughs> no, subtraction's just hard for me. During recess, do you go check on the wife and kids? No, I, I just play on the monkey bars. Tell me, how do you manage to be in middle school and work a 9-to-5 job at the same time? <laughs> the girl who thinks she's a horse. The emo kid. Catch him in the back of the class with his hoodie tied up watching sad Bart Simpson edits. The kid who had to touch the top of the door frame before entering a room. Girls who have to bring their Starbucks cup everywhere. The dude who's constantly emoting. And in order to find the answer, we can make a grid. Did, did someone say gritty? Right foot creep. Ooh, walking with that heat. Of course, there's the kid who Naruto runs through the hallway. And then there's that weird ass kid who accidentally called his social studies teacher mom one time. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably an accident though <laughs> fuck and i have no idea why but there's something about teaching middle school that had all these teachers going through a midlife crisis i remember one day our science teacher was teaching us about rainbows D does anyone know what a rainbow is yes Jaden. refraction of light through water droplets oh wow that's right how did you know that read it oh okay where did you read it read it yeah but where did you read it Read it. Jaden, I can't do this right now. Just, just tell me where you found this information. R read it? God damn it, Jackson. You're the reason my children get their shit whooped every night. Now, I don't know what she had going on in her life, but the way she broke down talking about beating her children to a group of 12-year-olds really gave me the impression that she shouldn't be teaching middle schoolers, bro. And I don't know who was in charge of hiring these teachers, but I also had a deaf teacher. Which, you know, it's cool and all, but it, it did make it a little bit harder considering the fact that, uh, you know... 
She was the fucking music teacher, not to mention the fact that she was also half blind. And I think the idea there was that she could somehow feel the vibrations of the guitar or something, which didn't seem to work too well, considering the fact that I got a fucking A in music, and I can't play the guitar for shit, but I guess, uh, I guess I just, like, I smelled good or something? I don't know. And I don't know about y'all's experiences, but I feel like kids were just mad touchy in middle school. Like, you'd be sitting in math class, minding your own business, then for no reason at all, a motherfucker would tase you in the side of the ribs. And I remember when kids first learned about these pressure points, it was all fun and games. Someone would just poke you in the ribs, like, <laughs> pressure ah, point, <laughs> that tickles. Then there would be a new pressure point dropping every week. It got to the point where these 12-year-olds were hitting pressure point combinations and paralyzing your legs and shit. Hey, bro, let me let me try this new pressure point on you. Yeah, sure, go for it. Ah, it tickles. <laughs> And it was the same shit with this game. Like, you really couldn't trust anybody, bro. Yo, what's that on my legs? Shit. Got him. Oh, shit. There's a bug on you. God damn it. Dumbass. Oh, fuck. I just broke my leg. Bro, I'm not stupid. You didn't just break your leg. No, no, no. I'm serious, bro. I promise. On everything. On my entire life. I just broke my leg. Look. Bro, I remember I got punched so many times, my arm was on life support. It was about to fall off, like... Ah, uh, and thinking back to middle school, there's just so many things that make me cringe, bro. But by far the cringiest of them all is the relationships, man. And believe it or not, I had my fair share of middle school relationships. I remember one day I was sitting in class and this girl came up to me and said, Chains, uh, I, I have a crush on you. And that's really all it took to have a young Chains in love. Head over heels. We went to the movies together. We, we went to my house and watched movies. Uh... Well, we went to her house and uh, we also watched movies. N now that I think about it, all we really did was watch movies. We didn't really talk that much. I, I mean, I didn't really have a way with my words at the age of 12. <laughs> so, uh, did do you like movies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I like movies too. Did that That's why we're here. Uh, at the movie theater. <laughs> I also like popcorn um, with the butter. It, it tastes, like I, I like how it tastes. And one day we went to the mall and I took a good look at my girlfriend of two weeks and thought, man, I don't even know this girl. Like, like, who are you? I remember we were inside Zoomies at the time and I said, hey, Jessica, um, you're a great person and all, but I don't really think we're compatible like that. Maybe Maybe we should just break up. Which was probably the most words I've strung together during the entirety of our relationship. And she says with the straightest face, oh. Okay. And then we proceeded to walk out of the mall and bus home together without saying a word. And I remember lying in my bed that night and thinking to myself, Damn, I, I think I'm supposed to be sad right now. So I threw on my hoodie, tied it up, and watched some sad Bart Simpson edits.